Yep. Hi, I'm Chef Nini Wen, and today I want to talk about pizza, particularly pizza leftovers. So I have four identical slices of pizza right in front of me, and I have four methods I want to show you. Let's see which one's the best. So for the stovetop method, you want to get a skillet that has a lid to it, and you want to heat your skillet up to medium heat. Now, you don't need any oil, you want to use a dry pan, and you want to just take your pizza slice and put it right in. Now we're gonna toast this for two minutes. Okay, so once two minutes are up, you can kind of check to see your pizza crust is crispy, but your cheese is not melted. So you definitely want to steam it a little bit and you wanna just add maybe not even a tablespoon of water. You wanna put it around the pizza and cover it right up. So it's been about two minutes. I'm gonna turn this off. Ta-da! All right, so you can do what I like is the crunch test. I could tell my cheese is nice and melted. My crust is super crispy, but let's test it out. <laughs> cheese is everywhere, but it's gooey. The crust is so crispy. It tastes like it was fresh out the oven the first time. You can hear that. If you are just feeding yourself or one other person, I highly recommend this method. So the pro is it tastes like the freshest pizza you've had. Con is it takes a little time and you can only do one or two slices at a time. Microwave pizza usually gets a bad rap because a lot of times, and I'm guilty of it, we crank it up to 100% power and we overcook our pizza. The best way to reheat pizza in your microwave is at 40% power for 45 seconds. And then you test it to see if it's hot. And then you can continue to increase the time if you really need it. Now let's try our microwave pizza. So I could tell it's not crispy, but it's warm. It's chewy. But it's, it's not bad, but it's not great. If you're lazy and you don't like cold pizza, it's great because it takes no more than two minutes, but it's gonna be subpar because it gets a little chewy, but somehow I still wanna take another bite of it. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the oven method. You want to put your slice of pizza on a piece of foil, or you can do it without foil if you want to live dangerously. Heat this up for about 10 minutes in a 350 degree oven. Here we have our oven slice and it looks really hot, so I'm not gonna bite into it yet, but we could talk about, oh, the nice cheesy gooeyness. It seems kind of crispy, pretty crispy. It's just very, very hot. But look at that. Yum. Doesn't stand, but let's taste it. <laughs> Whoa. It's very tasty. It's nice and toasted all the way. It's not as crispy on the bottom as you would get when you have it on the stove top. So the pros to this method is that you can heat a lot of pizza at one time. Now the cons are it does heat up your kitchen it takes a little while and it can dry out your pizza. But all in all, it's still very tasty. Last but not least, the air fryer. I've never heated pizza on an air fryer, but I wanna see if it's as good as everyone says it is. So this air fryer does have a pizza setting, so I'm gonna use it. Whoa. That is pretty, pretty golden. Now let's see if it's crispy. I know I like my, my crisp test. It sounds pretty crispy. Crispier in some areas. It's nice and golden brown. The cheese is definitely melted, but let's give it a taste. This is pretty good. 
I might have to get an air fryer. The crust is crispy, the, the cheese is melted, and it all it's the most brown out of all of them. It bubbles and and it it just caramelized the cheese again. Now I would be careful not to overcook your pizza in the air fryer because I think it'll dry it out. But this is pretty this is pretty impressive. It's very quick, it took about four minutes. You can't fit that many in the air fryer, but if you're only doing like two or three slices at a time, this would really work. I'm very impressed. Now that you've seen all four ways to reheat pizza, some are better than others, but for me, I love my pizza to be crispy and my cheese to be gooey. This is good. This is very educational, even for me. <laughs>